topics discussed on today's program may be disturbing to some viewers. The views expressed in this program are not predictions of what will happen, but what could happen. The panelists have been asked to think the unthinkable. Viewer discretion is advised. Tell me what life is like for the average person. And, and Stephen, chime in on this. Do we have the... Do we have the neighborhoods that we're living in? Are we still living in our in our think, homes? Think gated communities. I mean, you, you were talking about this before. You know, those those countries you were talking about, in those cities like Mexico City. Those are ga the the rich people live in fortresses, right, with armed guards and, and the masses. And, they, and as you said, people get kidnapped uh, when they go outside the fortress. And you've essentially privatized security and all to, all the other kind of government functions because government breaks down. Isn't that That's what happens? Exactly. Yeah, but, and the other thing, even the even these uh, gated communities won't be safe because you're going to see criminality. You're going to see gangs like you've never seen before. Listen, when people have nothing left to lose mm -hmm. and they've lost everything, they lose it. And now you have a society. We're a descending society. I mean, you look at the high school graduation rates. You have under 50 percent in major cities. So now you have these people. And this, I'm not a classist. I'm a guy that was born in the Bronx. You know, right. you have people that are ignorant, functionally illiterate and whacked out on drugs, hillbilly heroin, you name it, meth, go down the line, and they have nothing to lose. You know, I'm a practitioner, close combat practitioner. Attackproof.com is my uh, instructing uh, uh, for, uh, uh, teachers, John Perkins. And he's a self-defense expert. He's a close combat, number one. Anybody that wants to look him up, he's there. You know what he teaches us? He teaches us to prepare for the worst, survival. And then you back off from that. So let's look what you're doing. You're doing the perfect thing. You're building the worst case scenario. From that we could back off, but people better realize that the worst case scenario could actually happen. 9-11 yeah. happened, this could happen. An economic 9-11, the likes of which we've never seen. I will tell you that it's deja vu all over again, if you will, um, for me. Back in 1999, I was on WABC, and I had never even heard of Osama bin Laden. I, I read something, and and I read it, and I mispronounced his name on the air. I said it was Osama bin Laden or something. And I, and I read his words, and I looked at it, and I said, this guy's serious. you got to take this guy at his word. And I remember conservatives calling me up and yelling at me and saying, oh, you're just trying to help out the Clinton administration. I said, you got to be out of your mind. And I said at the time, within 10 years, there will be bodies and buildings in the streets of New York. Will you then fight terrorism? Right. And I feel the same way now, that people aren't willing to look at the unspeakable. And if we act now, we don't have to have all of these things. Our, People don't understand, and this is what worries me. I, I'll live in any condition. I, I don't care. I'll f grow my own food and whatever. It's but I worry about too. <laughs> yeah. I worry about my kids. Right. Do 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 they? There, there's no in this scenario. If if these things would come to pass, there is no Apple Store anymore, right? There is no. That's right. And when we have ourselves to blame for this, because we have built up a society of everyone's entitlement, entitled to what everyone else produces. We've become a kind of move very gradually, but in a, a much accelerated well, pace in the last few years. They're trying to. This kind of socialistic uh, attitude where what you have belongs to me and what you have right. belongs it's to a, him. But we're trying to, even with this bailout, we're trying to build this back up and saying, oh, these houses, you know, we'll be able to, uh, yeah. it'll turn around. The malls in this scenario. Ghost Mall. Ghost Mall. Ghost Mall. Okay.